Road Layers in Cross Section Template. Hello everybody. Welcome to a video tutorial which describes road layers in section module. Creating road templates can be done in two methods. A. Create cross section template and assembly. B. Directly create standard road layers with the feature provided. Create cross section template and assembly is a feature using which any complex assembly can be created. But to define assembly, it takes multiple steps. If your requirement is to create a cross section with multiple road layers, then you can do it with standard cross section template option given in eSurvey CAD, which allows you to create the road profiles in minimal steps. To create road layers directly from standard cross section template, select cross section template or assembly menu followed by standard cross section template and then select road profile. Select assembly radio button. Click triple dotted button next to the template drop down and create a new assembly road in edit assembly name window. Select newly created road assembly from the template drop down and enter dimension to all road parameters and then click create button. Click on road layer button and enter each road layer name that you want to create by specifying a name, height of the layer and respective layer color. Once you create all the required layers, say base, GSB, WMM, BM, SDBC, click on Apply button. Select Apply Cross Section Template from Toolbar. Specify the formation level. Apply newly created road assembly to all the cross sections by specifying From Section, To Section and selecting Road Assembly and clicking on Save button. Go to Preview window to see the cross section. You can note that all the cross sections are updated with the newly created road template. If you want to modify the properties of these road layers, select Derive cross section layers from Modify menu. Select one of the road layers created and you may change the properties like line joining type or if the road layer to be created only in widening portion. After you modify the properties, you can save and preview the cross section in the preview window to see the respective changes in layer properties. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to work with cross sections for a road widening project. 